Hey guys, welcome back to Misha's Corner. Today I'll be making my version of salmon and shrimp surf and turf. That's my shrimp all the way back there and my salmon. And yeah, so let's get started. So even though I'm going to use a store brand chili sauce, this is the one I have right here. I got it from the Randall supermarket in the condiments aisle. And this is what I'll be using to enhance what I'm already doing to my shrimp. So yeah, now we're just going to start by seasoning up both the shrimp and the salmon. And I'll show you guys what I do next. Alright, so I seasoned up my salmon. On my salmon I have some fresh thyme, fresh dill, fresh garlic, fresh ginger, fresh scallions, <laughs> salt and pepper. I'm going to rub it all in with a little bit of olive oil all over it. And let it marinate about 5-10 to 10 minutes, not too long. Preheat your oven to broil because we're going to broil the salmon but we're going to saute the shrimp. Alright guys, now for the um, shrimp. All we're doing to the shrimp is adding salt and pepper to the shrimp for right now. This is basically what's going to really cook down into the sauce so just salt and pepper for right now. Alright, so I'm going to saute my shrimp about 2 minutes per side. And once I flip these over, that's when we're going to start dumping everything else in. Okay, so I added my garlic in. I'm going to add some ginger, some scallions, and a little bit of butter. And then I'm now I'm just going to flip all my shrimp over so they can cook up with the spices. Alright, so now that the shrimp is halfway cooked, you're just going to take your sauce and pour it over. And you're just going to let this reduce for about another minute until all the shrimps are coated and we're going to pour this right over the salmon once the salmon is done and don't forget to check on your salmon guys in the oven and that's pretty much it we're done i'm going to plate it all up and i'm going to show you guys what it looks like and don't forget my measurements will be in the description box and that's what it looks like yum ho -oh. This is what it looks like. I put the salmon on a bed of sautéed spinach. I already have a video for that. And then I just basically strategically put the shrimp all over the salmon and covered it with the sauce that was in the pan with the shrimp. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and I'll see you guys next time on video number four. Okay guys, bye.